What's up guys? In today's video, we will tackle the Blender Asset Browser. Firstly, we need to go to the Edit tab, then click on Preferences. Then we need to navigate to the Asset Browser file path. As you can see, I have already created a destination folder. So do that if you haven't yet. Now we get to start marking some assets. Blender Kit gives us a hint of what can be marked as an asset, almost anything in Blender. However, I am going to show you how to mark collections, single objects, and even textures. I have downloaded these two cars from Blender Kit, but if you are watching this, you most definitely have your own model that you want to add to your library. Hover your mouse over this edge until you see a cross cursor, and then click and drag to open this panel. Next, we need to change this panel to the Asset Browser. Then hit the plus to add a new catalog. You can name this according to the asset type you are storing. I am just naming this one car. Remember that in order to keep your work safe, you need to constantly press Ctrl S to save your work or install an incremental save add-on. And when we mention safety, I have to tell you about Surfshark. As any internet user knows, there is a myriad of dangers lurking once you open your browser, and few professionals are more exposed than us 3D artists. We are at risk of losing our entire life's work to the whim of any one of these devious cybercriminals. The solution to this is using VPN, which is software that encrypts your online data. Luckily for us, Surfshark is one of the leading innovators in cybersecurity, offering cutting-edge products including VPN antivirus software, Alert, which is a data lead detection system, and Search, which is a privatized search tool. VPN is great for accessing foreign content, such as Netflix libraries from other countries. It is also a must when you connect to a public Wi-Fi network, as there can be many threats lurking on these networks. Now luckily for you, if you use our code, cmygnus 3 d you will get not only an 83% discount, but also an extra three months, entirely for free. So, click the link in the description and use our code to protect your creativity today. Now for collections, right-click the collection in the outliner and pick Mark as an asset. This collection will now appear as a collection in the unassigned catalog of your library. Can just drag it over to the new catalog like this. It is important to remember that it is only saved as an asset for this Blender file, so we have to press Ctrl S and then save the file in order for it to appear across all your local Blender files. Once I open the Cars catalog in the new Blender file, you can see both collections appearing as intended, and when I drag them out the models are intact and even the textures are in place. For single objects and materials, the process is the same however, for objects, you will have to select the individual object in the outliner, and for materials you will have to mark it in the material data properties. Once your library is running like this, you can even customize your folders in the Windows File Explorer. And that is the Asset Browser, guys. I hope you have found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. If there is anything you feel might need a tutorial, mention it in the comments below. See you in the next one.